All right, the biggest event during the off-season for Twins fans continues today at Target Field. Twins Fest features interactive activities, merchandise, and of course, both current and former players, and that includes our guest today, Jim Cott. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. We want to ask you first about uh, the exciting announcement about how you'll be involved with the Twins organization. So a uh, uh, special uh, assistant, what does that mean exactly? It's a fancy title. Yeah. I like well, it. Well, I'm so grateful to Dave St. Peter. I've known Dave since he was a young man, and he's really brought uh, the, us alumni back into the picture. And uh, my career as a player ended in 1983. I always felt I belonged with the Twins. Mm -hmm. I was in their organization for 16 years. so. Dave has made it possible for me to come back and make some appearances like I'm doing uh, this weekend and go to spring training. And gosh, I see, I've seen a lot of old buddies, former teammates, current teammates, and uh, the fans have been wonderful. I mean, it's been so rewarding to hear them say, hey, we're glad you're back. And so it's a really cool experience. I have a feeling you're going to hear more of that today when you're out at Twins Fest, people saying, hey, we're glad to see you. Why do you think it's important to be at events like this? Well, that's the heart and soul of the game. You know, if fans don't turn out to watch you, and it's what's, what's kind of cool for me is I've had some 8- and 10-year-old kids asking me to sign their cards. Now, I know their grandmother sent them. To the <laughs> oh, they, they don't know, but, uh, <laughs> but I think that's the heart and soul of our game is uh, teams that are having these off-season activities like Twins Fest to, uh, to build. And, and the Twins are fortunate just to get the kind of exposure we're mm. getting right now because you have your purple on. I do. See, and when I, I was do. a young player here, I actually worked the sidelines throwing parkas on the visiting players in the old <laughs> Met. Played racquetball with Bud Grant and Jim Fink. So I've oh, been a wow. Viking fan for 57 years. So I'm 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 happy that we're <laughs> focusing on some of the Twins activities. Yes. But I'm also paying close attention to those Vikings. I mean, well, we are one state, one city, one family when right. it comes yes. to sports like that, sure. right? And I'll yeah. happily throw on my Twins colors too to support yeah, the well, team. Yeah, you can wait till spring for yeah, that. Yeah, I'll wait yeah. for that. So, Jim, we need we need to restart the push to get you in the Hall of Fame, first of all, because your career was absolutely amazing. Um, do do you have I mean, how long were you with the Twins? It was like 20 Five I was years? in the Twins organization 16 years. 16 that goes years. back to the Washington right. Senators. Sure. They were really the, the old uh, first in war, first in peace, last in the American <laughs> League. We weren't a very good team. And then we became the Twins in 16 years. There you are there. Yeah. Do you have a favorite Twins memory? Uh, well, that, was, that might have been one of them. I think that was game two of the 1965 World Series. But uh, then uh, prior to that, the, uh, the game that clinched the pennant in 1965, the last out of the game was my good buddy Don Zimmer, who was wow. a longtime coach with the Yankees, and Zim and I were neighbors down in Florida, and, and he made the last out of that game when we were officially the American League champions, and the Yankees had won five straight years, so that was, that was really quite an accomplishment, and I would say uh, that was the pinnacle. Wow. Well, it's such a pleasure and an honor to have you with us this morning. And I know Twins fans are going to love to meet you coming up uh, later today. It is uh, Twins Fest is going on today and tomorrow at Target Field. Hours are from 9 a.m. until 6 tonight. Tickets are 20 bucks for adults, $10 for kids 12 and under. And you can visit Jim in the first base lounge along with Brian Dozier and Byron Buxton this morning starting at 1045. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in. Thank you. Thanks for having me.